Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Noir, and I'm a practicing gastroenterologist and also one of the developers of the electrogastrogram technology. I wanted to spend some time with you today as the physician provider who will be responsible for reading electrogastrogram studies once they're performed. At this point, your technician or nurse will have completed the study and we're going to go through the basics of what your job is and how easy it is to actually interpret these studies. In our particular unit, after a study is done, it is left up on the screen for me to take a look at. And this would be a typical example. And we know that this is one of four periods. There is a 10-minute baseline followed by three 10-minute each uh, water load, post-water load periods. And so uh, looking at the numbers here, we go from 0 to 10 in terms of signal. So I know this is the baseline period. If I didn't know that this is the baseline period, it's marked here under this particular box. And in fact, you can drop that down and you can see each of the periods that have been uh, performed. And if you wanted to do basic navigation between baseline and other periods, there are a number of different ways you can do this. The easiest and fastest is by using these bars here. So the center square means current period. The, the left or right single arrows will step you to the next period. So as an example, we can move to the first water load period, the second water load period, and the third water load period. And you'll see each time this changes correspondingly. Alternatively, you can go to the main menu bar at the top and click Go To, and it will show you the same depiction as though they were the bars, next 10-minute period or previous. The, bar with the, the arrow with the bar indicates start of study and end of study. So as you can see, end of study and start of study. The first thing that you'll notice when you take a look at the images is you're going to see that it's divided into two sections. The upper section, usually with a red line, is the actual electrogastrogram pattern that continues through the 10 minutes. And then the second section, which is in black and white, is the result of the respiratory belt. Um, I spend a lot of time looking at respiration only to look for artifact. So as an example, if a patient were moving around a lot, you would see a lot of artifactual changes here, which we do not see in this particular study. Another thing that you can do in the beginning as you start to read these studies is you begin to count peaks between minutes. So if we start here as an example at minute five, and we go one, two, and three, this tells me that we have a perfect sawtooth predominant three cycle per minute period. This happens to be very characteristic in patients who have obstructive type issues at the level of the pylorus. But this regular strong three pattern is what we, we like to see. 